No, it's not about me. It's about the crazy shit that white people do. Wait, 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 wait. I talk first. Kyle, I talk first. All right, today we got uh, fucking Kyle being a dick, like always. He's harassing some lady again. It's the third time, I guess, he's bugged her. This is the second time I've seen a video of him. I thought this was the third time, but I'll show you the video, the first video of the lady with her dog, and he seems to take offense at you, even though everybody else is walking by and having a nice day. Good morning to all my YouTube fans out there. We are reporting live on location in Santa Barbara, California. Now, as we can see, a dog is actually in a fountain. I've never in life actually seen this before. Now, the lady is not committing a crime, but if a black person had their dog in a fountain. So, if a black person with a white dog, put their dog inside the fountain, boom, police would show up instantly. There'd be shots fired. There'd be dead bodies everywhere. The dog might die, you know, probably not though, because I think dogs are bulletproof. Um, so yeah, you know, obviously she shouldn't have her dog in there. Cause I mean, if a black guy did it, all that stuff I just said would happen, right? Be fucking dead bodies everywhere. But for a white person, you know, her dog gets to cool off on a hot day. And, you know, this black person just has to stand there and watch it. That's crazy. That is some hardcore racism right there. All the white people in the street would have called the cops by now. Okay? And the cops would have been here within minutes. I'm just actually recording the weird shit that goes on in California. So, it's okay for a dog to be in a fountain now. And that's acceptable. Our friend Kyle must be a cat guy because why would a dog not hop in the water on a hot fucking day? You know, just the dog obviously hopped in. She didn't pick him up and put him in. The dog just jumped in. It's a fucking dog. That's what they do, Kyle. Hey, you ever tried to fucking control a dog? It's not a kid. It's a dog. It doesn't listen when you tell it to do things all the time. Sometimes it just gets too excited. It sees water, it's hot, it fucking jumps in it, man. I don't know why it's the end of the world to you, but to normal people, they're just walking by. Some are probably even smiley when they see the dog happy in the water. That shit's actually not acceptable. But in California, they're actually able to get away with this shit. But if a black person or a Mexican does this, the white people would call the police ASAP. I'm just pointing out the facts, YouTube. And for the lady to think that it's okay, that's a mental problem. But people in Santa Barbara feel like their money allows them to get away with whatever they want to get away with. But once again, YouTube, if a black person or a Mexican person was to do this, the cops would be called immediately. Immediately. So I'm going to call bullshit on Kyle here, of course, because um, Kyle's full of bullshit. Um, so there's an auditor. He goes up to the cops. He's an African dude. His name's Floyd something something. I think Floyd Wallace, maybe. Um, he puts his hands under his jacket. He's always wearing a big jacket and he's always wearing baggy clothes and wearing a mask. And he would shove his hands behind his back or whatever, reaching under his clothes. And he does this to try to make the cops think he's reaching for a weapon. And he has yet to be shot. So, I don't think you're going to get shot if you put a dog in a fountain. Although, if you have a dog and he goes in the fountain, that's fine. You know, if you're trying to drown the dog in the fountain, somebody might shoot you, cow. So, don't do that. Because I feel like you would try to play some semantics here. Has said that this is okay? Totally that your dog be yeah. inside of a public fountain? Yeah, it's kind of surprising. I believe you because City Hall here is batshit crazy too. Well, I believe it. I, I'm sorry, I understand. But that's, that's just not acceptable that's... for a dog to be in a public fountain. Do you know what goes in public fountains, really? I mean, so if I judge that my dog is okay in a public fountain, it's okay. It's not about your dog, it's about other people. 
It's what? about it's about that guy needing to clean out that fountain too. No, you just no. I watch her virtually every day. Mm -hmm. Are you recording? Me? Definitely, you because we're on a public street, public sidewalk. Oh. <laughs> That's what actually happens. You're trying to make it about you. No, it's not about me. It's about the crazy shit that white people do. Oh, it's about. Isn't it, that a racist no, thing? No, it's say? it's facts. It's, absolutely it's reality. A racist thing to say. So is it racist that you were just having your dog in a public fountain? Wait, wait, that's a trick question. Cause we all know the answer is no. It's not racist for your dog to jump into a water fountain. But wait, Kyle's gonna tell us how it is racist somehow. Is it racist that I was having my dog? Yeah, you put your dog in the public fountain. Well, so could you. I don't want to put my dog inside well, of that water. Make it a racist thing. No, but this is the weird you shit that white people it. do. Oh, Correct. Black Where people don't do this. Mexicans don't do this. Well, why don't you try it? If it's why would I put my dog in that nasty water right there? Because your dog has walked for five or six miles and is hot. And that's your logic? That. Yeah, good logic. I get to go on longer hikes because my dog is hot. Put your dog in, a, in your bathtub. Don't put it in a public <laughs> fountain. Put your dog in your own bathtub. Why would I put it in a bathtub? To give it a bath. It doesn't need a bath. So why was it in that water right there? To cool him off. A six mile walk. The dog is hot. The dog goes, oh, there's water. I'm going to jump in it. I'm like, please, jump in the pool. And I walk. So I want everybody to understand this is not a drinking fountain. It's a decoration. It's a decoration fountain. That guy doesn't go in there and hand clean it. It works on a filter. He replaces the filter. Kyle doesn't know shit. That's why he's homeless. Kyle's an idiot. Kyle just likes to harass people, especially white people. When he sees white people, he likes to take a fucking piss on them. Alright, so that was the lady I mistaked for this current lady in this video that Kyle is currently stalking. This lady apparently is a business owner across the street from the bar he accuses her of always being at. So I mean, hey, if you're a business owner and you're right next to a bar... Shit, I mean, I'd be getting smashed and having fun and trying to make connections, too. Fans out there, we are recording live on location in Santa Barbara, California. We are recording the Night Lizard Bar. So they're overly serving this person right here alcohol. Every time she sees me, she actually starts harassing me. That's because the Night Lizard always serves her alcohol, overly serves her alcohol, and she keeps on harassing me. So this video is on the Night Lizard Bar and how they overly serve people alcohol. So the lady that just came across the video is a lady that's always at this bar every single day. And the bar overly serves her alcohol. I brought it up to the attention of the bar. This lady is extremely drunk all the time stop serving her alcohol so whenever she sees me she calls the police she harasses me um this lady said that this is her streets all types of shit this lady's actually said and i'm sick of this lunatic dingbat calling the police on me because she's always drunk this is the bar that consistently serves her the alcohol even though she's overly drunk it's an unbelievable situation. I'm telling the tourists, don't come to this bar. I've had a conversation with the co-owner of the bar regarding overly serving the person alcohol. Um, and the co-owner, his response was, get off my property. <laughs> I'm like, seriously? Do you guys know that you're held liable for overly serving this individual alcohol. So the person hides behind uh, trees and poles, uh, calls the police. She's a Karen, but she's always drunk all the time. So I love the fact that Kyle doesn't know what a Karen is, but like all things, it also frustrates the hell out of me, Kyle, because you're the fucking Karen. You're always the Karen. Every interaction, you're always the fucking Karen, bro. You're always like, I need to see your supervisor. I need to see this. I need to see that. I need to hire up. You know? Like, you don't have to be white to be a Karen cow. You just got to be you, basically. 
So this is what this person does. She's hiding behind the pole right now, even though she's actually drunk all the time. So she's on the phone with the cops right now, calling the police because I'm actually filming on a public sidewalk. So this is what she does. She's on the phone right now calling the police because I'm filming on the public sidewalk. She's hiding behind this tree right here on the phone with the police. This is what she does. So this is what you call a Karen, someone that hides behind trees and calls the police on people. This is her right here. So she calls the police on me all the time for recording on a public sidewalk, which is unbelievable. But anyways, YouTube, so <clears throat> the night lizard overly serves this person alcohol on a daily basis and they're held liable if anything happens to this person because you went through the training that says you will not overly serve someone alcohol. Um, and this is what she does. And I've said to this bar, like, look, man, there's a lady down here, you know, that you guys are serving the alcohol to. Stop serving her alcohol. If the alcohol is going to make her act like this, don't serve her alcohol no more. You're held responsible. And so at this point, I feel like the business license needs to be stripped or should I say the liquor license needs to be stripped from this establishment. Um, once again, this establishment is called Night Lizard Brewing Company. Um, I'm going to contact the California Liquor uh, Board to have this establishment's uh, liquor license stripped. Um, yeah, because this person that's right here on film is always drunk and she calls the police on black people for non-crimes committed because she's always drunk. Um, that should be a crime in itself. If you're calling the police on a black guy because you're always drunk, you should be thrown in jail for life for calling the police on a black guy. Falsely accusing people of crimes is a big deal, but that's not what's happening, Kyle. You're straight up harassing this lady. You keep fucking talking about her, filming her, you're putting it on the internet. You're straight up harassing her, bro. I mean, she doesn't want to be filmed. She doesn't want anything to do with you like everybody else. They just want to be left alone, man. They don't want to deal with your stupid bullshit. But you need to make your YouTube video, so you need to harass people to be able to make a living. Because getting a fucking job will be way too hard, right, Kyle? So this bar right here keeps on serving her alcohol even though they already know she's drunk all the time. So I have the picture of her um, can't even keep her eyes open, drunk as shit, still at the bar. Um, so at this point, uh, the liquor license needs to be stripped of this establishment. And as you can see, she was hiding behind trees and poles. She calls the police, flags down the police, for me filming on a public sidewalk. So you see the police coming right now, and this is what they do. So you guys see the police, she actually called the police. She's flagging the police down. Oh, th th that's not the police. I thought that was the police because the police were up there before. Uh, so that wasn't the police, but she'll be flagging them down. She does this every single day, all day, every day. Um, hangs out at the bar every day and I believe she is a business owner of this establishment right here so this is a drunk business owner that can't get any business I'm like well instead of bothering me don't you think that you should be trying to make profit at your business she can't make profit at her business because she's too busy always at the bar right here getting drunk every single day so YouTube I just wanted to relay this message. Santa Barbara is a total shithole. Um, and the business owners don't deserve people's business um, because of the way that they treat people. So when the liquor license gets stripped of this business, it will be karma. That's pure karma. Um, so definitely, I should start a petition on 
this business to get their liquor license stripped. The Night Lizard Brewing Company. So once again, the Night Lizard Brewing Company should have their liquor license stripped for over-serving people alcohol. YouTube, we're signing off. Thanks and have a great morning. So he's trying to move his channel into um, taking away that company's liquor license. That's interesting. Uh, I mean, he still has problems with the local homeless people because he's homeless and they don't like him because he's him and he's a Karen. Um, yeah, so they don't really like him. And then the business owners are going to start like not liking him now because he's standing out there bashing their businesses. He's calling them drunks and saying they overserve people and stuff. I mean, he's just starting shit with everybody. I don't get why he does it, but he's making it really, really public. And the more popular he gets, the more obvious it's just going to be to everybody that he's a fucking ass. He's just an idiot. So, I mean, eventually people will start to catch on. The more popular he gets, it's really the worst for him. So, I'm just going to keep following it until eventually he probably deletes his channel. He'll probably start a new one, though. He probably won't name it Moorish TV since he never talks about being a Moor or any of the Moorish teachings. He never talks about that shit at all. So, <laughs> I don't even think he's Moorish, honestly. I don't know what the hell he is. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video. Just say Smith again, it don't matter. None of this matters.